Today we embark on a comprehensive journey into the world of artificial intelligence, AI, and the imperative need for regulations, with a particular focus on children and adolescents in India. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content. Let's get started. First and foremost, let's demystify AI, artificial intelligence. It's a revolutionary technology that empowers machines to replicate human intelligence. These intelligent machines can perceive, understand and respond to various tasks. Think of Siri or Google Assistant. They're prime examples of AI in action. AI's reach extends far and wide, touching numerous domains. From natural language processing and speech recognition to autonomous vehicles and marketing chatbots, AI has permeated our lives in ways we might not even realize. It's not just about robots, it's about enhancing human-computer interaction. Now let's talk about why AI is strategically significant for India. In a historic move, India is set to host its inaugural Global AI Summit this October. But that's not all. India holds the chair of the Global Partnership on AI, GPAI, and will host the GPAI Global Summit in December. AI is poised to contribute a monumental $500 billion to India's economy by 2025, constituting 10% of the nation's targeted GDP. India's Prime Minister has raised a critical call for establishing a global ethical framework governing AI's expansion. With India generating a colossal amount of data, it stands at a unique crossroads to set a regulatory precedent, especially for the global south. The world watches with keen interest to see how India balances AI's immense developmental potential with its associated risks. However, the spotlight today is on India's opportunity to lead in regulating AI for children and adolescents. The digital nature of AI often means that many cutting-edge applications are not explicitly designed for youngsters, yet they access and interact with them extensively. Regulating AI for this demographic comes with unique governance challenges. It must align deeply with issues directly impacting children and adolescents, such as addiction, mental health, and overall safety. Failure to do so could result in AI-driven digital services deploying hidden algorithms and manipulative tactics, posing several risks to young users. These threats encompass misinformation, radicalization, cyberbullying, sexual grooming, and doxing. Moreover, the next generation of digital citizens must grapple with the indirect, Consequences of their families' online activities. Parents often share their children's photos and videos online to document their parenthood journey. As children transition into adolescence, regulations must equip them with the tools to manage unintended consequences. For instance, AI-powered deepfake technology could be misused to create and distribute inappropriate content online, directly targeting young individuals. India as a diverse nation with a rich identities based on gender, caste, tribal identity, religion, and linguistic heritage, faces the challenge of ensuring AI doesn't perpetuate real-world biases and inequalities. This issue is particularly pertinent for children and adolescents from marginalized communities who are at risk of being disproportionately affected. So what can India do to create effective AI regulation for children? Let's explore some comprehensive steps. First, draw inspiration from international best practices, such as UNICEF's guidelines rooted in the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child, of which India is a signatory. Adapt regulation to cater to the diverse developmental stages of children across different age groups. An exemplary model is California's Age Appropriate Design Code Act, emphasizing transparency and safeguarding children's privacy. Third, actively promote research that gathers evidence on both the benefits and risks of AI for India's children and adolescents. This research can serve as a robust foundation for the development of an Indian age-appropriate design code for AI. Lastly, enhance mechanisms and institutions dedicated to regulating AI for children. By establishing channels for regular dialogue with children and incorporating their perspectives, regulations can become more responsive to the challenges young people face when engaging with AI systems. In conclusion, as India strives to be a global leader in AI regulation and legislation, it must place the interests and well-being of its young citizens at the forefront of these endeavors. Effective regulation should not be rigid but rather emphasize the adoption of standards, robust institutions and best practices that prioritize openness, trust 
and accountability. That wraps up today's video of AI regulation. With a spotlight on India's responsibility to safeguard its young digital citizens. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.